Hi guys! Welcome back. I haven't uh, figured out a title for this show yet. It's a showcase actually, it's a mental illness showcase. Not enough people take me seriously, but they will. Oh yes, they will. This is Beethoven, he's been my best friend since I was eight years old. <laughs> I watched a really terrible movie when I was growing up that I became obsessed with. And uh, I told my parents that I really, really wanted a St. Bernard. And uh, they got me this baby instead because my parents being like the neat freaks that they are, there's no fucking way that we would get a St. Bernard. <sighs> For as big as they are and as much as they slobber. My parents are like ant farm people, for sure. Like we had a cat and it like didn't make sense. <sighs> Even this cat like acted like my parents. I think that's why I didn't really like my cat that much. I can say that now because she's dead. I can never say that when she was alive. I do miss her though. But she was like one of those bitch cats, you know? I mean, I still loved her. But like, yeah, she was a bitch cat. She's always so skittish, you know? Just a little like, faggot cat, you know? Like one of those prissy cats, like. I'm only gonna give you affection when I want to, you know? Like, maybe once a month if you're lucky. <laughs> I still have this scar like under my titty from like where she scratched me though so it's like she's with me forever shout out to blossom wherever you are in the clouds in the air well that would make sense if she was in the clouds and in the air the same, you know because it you know how clouds work right does the vortex know how clouds work I hope I'm not too loud I have a feeling that I am <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we received this from somebody in the drive-thru tonight. Um, very, very sweet though, very sweet. Let him, him with a capital H, have all your worries and cares, comma, for he, capital H, is always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you. Number one, Peter, five, colon, seven. Oh, and now, just as you trusted Christ to save you, trust him, capital H again, too, for each day's problems, colon, live in vital union with him, capital H. Colossians, Colossians, I don't know how to pronounce it, two, colon, six. I wish I could believe this shit, but I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna like rip it up or anything. I'll save this forever. It's crazy, the stuff that I would keep. Considering how anti-God I am. Are you actually recording? I don't know. You think so? I think it's because I put some sort of, I don't know what. The red button. <laughs> That usually indicates. I just want to know how much time, you know? Because we don't, we don't have very much time left on this memory card. It's crazy. I looked. We've already made like 85 videos. I think it's more like 87 because you made some when you were driving back home. <gasps> I know. Dude, I think that somebody vomited in my trash can because that's what it smells like. Like it just smells like pure rank. I don't know what the, this person ate. I don't know what this person drank. Actually smells like that whiskey vomit. Oh, that is the worst. The thing is with vodka, I don't know why people are grossed out by vodka, because like vodka is awesome, because not only does it not seep through your pores, but which means you can drink a shit ton of it all night, and like, unless you come in drunk, like really drunk the next day at work, your manager won't know. <laughs> but you probably will. Yeah. 
<laughs> we got sent home periodically. And by periodically, I mean like every other day. It was like, girl, you stink. <laughs> and then I just like go get more beer or liquor or whatever the fuck. I was always like excited about it. Like, oh, get sent home, party. Let's keep drinking. That's how you never experience withdrawals, just stay drunk. Never experience a hangover, just stay drunk. <laughs> But if you want to get sober, talk to me, because I know all about it. Ha ha! See? Plug both worlds. <laughs> okay. What is this? What is